Welcome to Flourish. I'm Diane Panadin, and you're in the right place if you're ready to create an inspired life. And we do so by working on our own personal development. And so we can be strong role models for those we love and mentor. And strong for ourself, our own self-image, um, our self-esteem, our self-empowerment, and be able to help others reach their goals, help others live a more inspired life so you can flourish. Today is going to be an eight-part series on the behaviors leading to self-actualization. And I just love how he writes this book. It's quite fascinating. So today's all about the first one. And he starts in saying, what does one do when he self-actualizes? And don't worry about the, the he. The gender thing back then was always he, he, he. So ha, ha, ha. It doesn't matter. All right, let's go on. Does he grit his teeth and squeeze? What does self-actualization mean in terms of actual behavior, actual procedure? I shall describe ways in which one self-actualizes. So let's begin with the first one. This is great. First, self-actualization means experiencing fully, vividly, selflessly, with full concentration and total absorption. It means experiencing without that self-consciousness of the adolescent. At the moment of experiencing, the person is wholly and fully human. This is a self-actualizing moment. This is a moment when the self is actualizing itself. As individuals, we all experience such moments occasionally. As counselors, we can help clients to experience them more often. We can encourage them to become totally absorbed in something and to forget their poses and their defenses and their shyness to go at it whole hog, wholeheartedly. From the outside, we can see that this can be a very sweet moment. In those youngsters who are trying to be very tough and cynical and sophisticated, we can see the recovery of some of the guileness of childhood. Some of the innocence and sweetness of the face can come back as they devote themselves fully to a moment and throw themselves fully into experience it. The key word for this is selflessly. And our youngsters suffer from too little selfless and too much self-consciousness, self-awareness. Now, isn't that fascinating? This was compiled originally back in the 60s and first published in 1971. And do you think us humans have changed? Not one bit. That is absolutely fascinating. This self-actualization means fully experiencing vividly, selflessly, with full concentration and total absorption. So the first behavior to work on for fully self-actualization is to really immerse yourself in something, go at it whole hog or wholeheartedly. I know these idioms are kind of funny, but just really dive deep, get in there. And it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time to explore what you really like to do, what you really want to do, what you can do part time as you maybe make a transition. Maybe, you know, maybe right now you're just in survival mode and you're thinking, is this all there is to my life? There has to be more. I am here for a reason. And you are. And you deserve to live life to the fullest. But you're going to have to explore and then really dive in there. Maybe mm, look back to what you liked as a child. You know, Robert Greene talks about this quite a bit. What did you really like to do as a child? You didn't feel inhibited. You didn't feel self-conscious about it. You didn't worry about it. You just went for it and you just kind of did it. And if you were dancing, you gave up dancing and maybe want to re-explore that. I'm just giving you for instance, or maybe dancing uh, is not feasible anymore to a professional level, but maybe you can teach dance. Maybe you can be a yoga instructor. There's all these different avenues to explore 
Because when you're becoming who you should be, becoming who you deserve to be, and really embracing life and enjoying life and being one with your life, that feeling is so awe-inspiring. And you just lose yourself in the moment. You reach a state of zen, of flow. And we're going towards, with these behaviors, by the way, that peak experience. And if you don't think you've ever experienced one, maybe put your thinking cap on and you probably have. And that's the first clue in diving into it. Well, if you like the show, share it with someone you know, because we're all here for a reason. We are odds of actually being here are highly unlikely. So make the most of your day, your life, your future, and live a more inspired life.